And we are back. And guys, I want to do a little bit of Devin Haney talk today. Uh, Devin Haney coming off of, I would say, two big first. Well, actually one big first because he was actually supposed to defend his WBC 140-pound title. But due to Ryan Garcia not making weight, uh, he didn't really defend the title. The fight, you know, the fight was on, of course, but the title wasn't up for grabs. Now, the other big first, of course, was him losing you know, his first time in his career. Uh, and it was a pretty pretty tough loss, a pretty bad loss. Uh, Ryan Garcia uh, really did put pause on Devin the Dream Haney. I... Uh, I predicted that Haney would actually win the fight. I, I thought he would actually stop Brian Garcia. I think I gave an eighth round prediction uh, knockout for, for Devin the Dream Haney. And a lot of that was due to what I saw him do to Regis Prograde. Uh, I thought his power uh, showed up when he fought Regis Prograde. And he, he lumped Regis Prograde up pretty good. But uh, when he came into the fight with Ryan, it, it just didn't seem to be the same there. Uh, he couldn't seem to hurt Ryan. And I, I thought he would win. I thought Devin would win due to the fact that, you know, looking at it on paper, he seems like he's the more skilled of the two. Uh, he's been the undisputed champion at 135. Uh, he he was the champion at 140. He's still the champion at 140, but he was coming in as a WBC champion at 140. And just looking at, you know, the antics of Ryan Garcia leading up to the fight, I just thought Ryan Garcia's head wasn't in it. And I just thought he was food for Devin Haney. But he fooled us all. He, you know, he was trolling the whole time. And, uh, you know, he, he deserves an Academy Award for that. I thought he put on a pretty good act because, like I said, I was fooled. Uh, some of you guys were fooled. Some of the people, some of his peers were even fooled. But, you know, he was on his A game and he was able to destroy Devin Haney. Uh, you know, I was watching the fight with my mouth open and I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. But, you know, I, I had to, you know, admit, you know, Ryan Garcia... You know, he is who he he is who he says he was. And, uh, you know, he made a believer out of me. He made a believer out of a lot of people out there. And I'm interested in seeing how well uh, he does, uh, you know, in future fights. Now, uh, he did say he would give uh, Devin Haney another shot. We'll, we'll have to wait and see about that. Uh, I'm interested in seeing if Devin Haney, uh, what he's going to be like, uh, you know, after he comes back. Now, what I want to talk about is uh, Devin Haney pretty much getting the Errol Spence Jr. treatment out here in these streets. And uh, we've we've seen all these memes and people making jokes about Devin Haney, uh, and it's all over the internet. And uh, I remember Errol Spence Jr. going through the same thing. Now, I have to admit, you know, some of the stuff is pretty funny. You know, I, I chuckled at some of it. Uh, I chuckled at the stuff with Errol Spence Jr. But here's the thing, guys, uh, you know, Living in this social media age, this is the type of stuff that these fighters, you know, have to overcome. Now, back in Mike Tyson's era, of course, you know, they made fun of him when he lost. Uh, it was a lot of people talking about Mike Tyson on, you know, various TV shows and, and making fun of him. But uh, now in the social media age, you know, you just, you know, turn on your computer. Uh, there's memes everywhere. People are doing skits and, and, and just all types of stuff. So, you know, this is the type of thing that fighters have to bounce back from. You know, you, you have to weather the storm. And, you know, the funny thing is, when you're on top, you know, everybody wants to be your buddy and honey. But as but soon as you, you lose, uh, you know, they're, they're making fun of you again. You know, people are saying that you're washed up or they're saying that, you know, it's your coach's fault that, you, you know, this didn't happen. You know, everything's all good when you're winning. But as soon as you lose, you know, it's a complete uh, 180. Everybody's, you know, talking down on you and thinking this, that is it for you. But honestly, I don't think this is it for Devin Haney. I, I do think he needs to work on some things, uh, defense, uh, maybe learn how to sit down on his shots a little better. Uh, I, I think, you know, him being young, he, he can't come back from this. I, I know I hear a lot of people saying it's going to be hard for him. Sure, it's going to be hard for him, but he's a young man. I think he'll be able to get through it uh, if he's strong in his mind, if he's strong in his mind. And I believe he is, you know, because... He was an undisputed champion, guys. He was on people's pound for pound list. And, you know, he wanted to be great. You know, he was, that's the thing, you know, I, I like about Devin Haney. He's not my favorite fighter around the 135, 140 division, but I do like the drive that the kid has. And I, I think, I think it's, it's not it for him. 
you know, we're so quick to throw these fighters out to the pasture. I don't think it's it for Errol Spence Jr. as well. I, I think he still has a future. But I think Devin Haney definitely has a future because, you know, he's he's a lot younger and he can bounce back from this. But yeah, they, they are giving him uh, the the Errol Spence Jr. treatment out here in these streets. Uh, so we'll see what happens with it, whether or not he bounces back. I, I think he will personally. Uh, he took a hard loss, guys, and I know, you know, it's probably weighing on his mind. You know, he probably can't get it out of his mind. How did he get here? You know, he was on this trajectory and he was expected to win. And, you know, everybody was thinking that Ryan Garcia was going to lose this fight. And Ryan Garcia pulled a uh, rabbit out of his hat and, you know, destroyed Devin Haney. But that's all I want to talk about, guys. We'll see what happens next. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section whether or not you think Devin Haney will recover uh, from this devastating loss. You guys let me know how you feel about it. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.